hello uapath experts welcome to the uapath.learner channel so today we will see the, the solution of this uh, vendor time 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 length vendor time length there is a so if you want to see what is the actual requirement you can see in the description the link is there actually use case uh, requirement uh, the use case is like so we have to fill the e column that is a time length now current time minus the date d column so this will be the one year two years like that's right so it's a uh, one year back and uh, this is a three years back two years back two years back three years back three years back so like that okay so basically the condition is wherever it is a closed so that is a closed wherever the c column status column is a close this is a current status so we'll see the current status should be a close whenever there is a close and the background color should be a red color okay and like this okay and open files in the open files wherever it is a below one year suppose for example it's a it's a 19 one year back okay so if it's a one year back just keep it open <coughs> if it's a one year above one year and two years below then keep it delay wherever it is a three years keep it delay and background color is a yellow so wherever it is a uh, more than one year more than two years more than two years then make it as a close we'll see how can we do it okay so let's take a small uh, blank page a bit of scope and uh, what we can do i'm just keeping the file here uh, the same file relation go timer so this does not have anything so let's imagine this does not have so is only up to d4 d columns are there okay so let us take that right click shift right click and take a copy as a path and give here and we have to read the range read read range just read range uh, this is a shift name is a go timer the output is a go timer so one should get the data table the data table has a data what we can do we can fill the information okay so how can we fill the information uh, first of all we will fill the so new column here and a new column here okay these two columns okay so the colors background colors we will do later so what we will do is we will do these two columns basically okay so how can you add data column i'm just adding the two data columns so what is <coughs> string go data table is a time length then that is the first column and the next column is a go data table so and if it is an integer so time length is an integer we'll put an integer and this one is a uh, like a string that is a current status that is a string okay now so what we can do so we can just uh, okay so we can just use the for each row activity for each row activity in the for each row activity we can use uh, go data table so whenever if you, if condition just oh, use yeah, the if condition if the row of <coughs> what is that the data is uh, like a status the row of status equal to status is not to string uh, is equal to closed then if it's, a, if it's a closed okay if it's a closed you'll always get it closed then we're just assigning that row of current status 
current stress equal to closed. We're just closing all the all the values. Okay, so if it's a not closed, it will be open. And before that, so before that, so what we can do, uh, we can assign the values like a if it's a open and just close that one also. So because uh, uh, current status equal to closed. And what we have to do, we'll just assign that uh, time length, the time length, okay. Uh, we will assign the time length, uh, row of time length is equal to, so what is the time length basically? So row of date, okay. So date is a date, actual date. And uh, what we can do now dot substring of convert dot otherwise uh, see date as a date only right so you see date you're just converting the date and uh, <coughs> substring dot uh, total years total days is there total years is there total days total days that was total days is there okay let us try to print this one okay total days we'll assign the total length and after that it is a close the status is closed and uh, so if it's not if it's not what we can do we can just use the row of otherwise we can do one thing so okay so directly we will update there itself okay let me remove here remove here so instead of this so we can update there itself so i'm just putting the index idx the idx is an in the index so what we can do so we can just use a right ray right cell only right cell only for the right cell right cell okay so what we can do we will write the uh, the cell this one so f uh, e column okay e column itself uh, in the e column e and so how can we find the row so the row is first from the two, right but the index is a uh, idx is always comes from the zero zero plus two not to string okay so so that so it will keep on continuing zero plus two equal to two and what we have to write for that so we have to write for that is a uh, c date of row of date okay so that is a date right and uh, so now dot uh, uh, dot total days okay total days total days okay so after that if it is a close Closed already closed, so we can just uh, display that is a closed. Okay, and this is a F. If it is a closed, if it is a open, so what we have to do, we have to do like a, a some if condition. Uh, and this is a first, uh, first we will make that as a open, open, and we will run. So we will try to test whether this is working fine, and so before that. Before the for each, okay. What we can do, we can just use the e1, and that does not have a uh, column name. Uh, time length. If it's a 
just one that we are giving that the name is called current 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 status status okay so this is the current status and we will see so how it looks like let me run uh, it will open the okay so it's not opened so let me close this this excel okay okay try to run local resolution go this one so what it is doing it is uh, something is wrong okay that's a mistake giving the number of days and the open and close okay what we can do so number of days that is the number of days uh, <coughs> three years one days two uh, suppose here if condition this is for uh, it's a below below this okay so if the, if the this one so let's let us try to uh, add that one into the one variable the current rows days current days that is integer so just put that current days into the integer and uh, so increase the scope this whole thing is a current days okay. this whole thing number of days is a current days what happened So it is showing some exception. Uh, yeah, so we'll convert that current days to the integer. C intron because it's uh, coming as a double value, so it's converted that into the C intron. Okay. So every time so at the end of the place or uh, uh, in the end of the if condition, you can make that as a zero. Okay. You can make that as a zero okay now current days is uh, uh, less than 365 that means so that is a one year okay below one year if, if one year below okay so what we have to do if it is a one year below so we have to do like a so it's open only open and if you want to change the color you can change the colors so there's a color just like the color you can type uh, set color or typing there is a set range color okay. so, so you can mention the sheet name in the set range color you can mention the sheet name and the range in the range you can mention that the range of the and color is not uh, green okay Basically, it is open, so it is a below 360 days, 65 days. Okay, so this is this is for the 365 days. Just this is for the two years. Two years. So what we can do? So it's a above 365 days, and uh, so it is a 365 plus 365, 730, 730. You can make that okay. This is greater than 365, and current date is less than 730. 730, right? So then it is a like a delay. That's what the current date is. Delay color is a yellow. And what is the next one? Next one is like a uh, this one more than two years. If more than that is closed. Anyway, we are closing that closed. Just 
no the thing is like a so it's a red basically red and this is a closed and uh, uh, dun, dun, dun. So what is the condition the condition is a greater than yes okay greater than this one so what you can do so you can just mention the equal to here equal to less than or equal to and for this also greater than less than or equal to so that it will if it's matched it will go for that particular condition okay so it's greater than this one so it is a uh, basically the red and uh, it's closed and apart from that apart from that so if it's, if it's already closed then f is a closed right okay no need to <coughs> worry about that right well let us try to run now what we can do is so we can just uh, cancel this one and uh, try to run from the control file just removing this whole thing there is no extra columns save it close it try to run it's open it is working fine so let us see whether it is a so this is a more than uh, more than two years close and uh, it is delayed so if it's a close why it is a, so if it's closed also we have to make that as a red color okay. so here in this condition if it is a closed just copy paste here so that it is also a red color, a closed case. And one more thing is, so if you want to convert this into the years, uh, how can we convert the, this into the years? This is a uh, just clean the uh, two columns and save it. Try to run. And also, so it is coming the same numbers one year so it can open, two years so it can. So we will remove that uh, decimal points. So if you want to remove, you can remove the decimal points also. Uh, let us remove that one, decimal points. How can we remove the decimal points? Uh, Let's try to clean the another one in the file. So this is a how we don't have a any data. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a years okay. The length is so two years, four years, three years. Okay, so wherever you see that there is a closed uh, a C column, that is a status column, so it's automatically closed. So, uh, and one more close is a uh, close condition is like a wherever it is a uh, like a more than two years, that is a close. You see, four years, three years is closed, and if it's a below two years and one one year, then definitely it is a 
uh, yellow so it is a below one year that is a called below one year that is called uh, uh, green yeah we can do we can just do the same thing here uh, we'll change the condition okay so number of days instead of number of days number of years we'll put the number of years we'll change the condition to the days to the this is the year because so what i observed here is that there is some issue uh, because as, as per our requirement uh, this is a two years is not a Green, right? So only one year is a green. One year is a green. Two years means it is a delay. Okay. Three years means it is above two years means it is a right only. There is a some mistake, so we just convert that into the days and use the days. If this equal to or less than or equal to one, then this is a green. Okay. The next one. Equal to two, equal to two is fine. Equal to two is fine. Okay. And this is a greater than two years. So whether it is a three or four, everything is a plus one. Let us try to run. So this screen doesn't run me. Since it's a two years since yellow, and uh, okay, this has happened. There is an Excel uh, problem. Mm, let's close. Try to check if any Excel application is working. No, let us try to. So this is how we can do. Okay, so just practice by yourself, and uh, so this is basically the Excel uh, how to apply the uh, the colors, background colors, and how to apply the formulas, how to uh, get the status based on the other uh, columns. Basically, so this is working fine. Okay, yeah. So in this in this example, we saw like a. Um, what is it basically uh, uh, based on the one column, the C column, we updated the uh, D, F column, and uh, based on the D column, we updated the E column. In this example, you can learn like a what is a base here in the e is uh, subtraction, the date subtraction, right? So, the date is a subtraction by one and date by another date, okay? So, everything is works fine. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.